What's what's good? DJ Master Chef, we cooking up in this motherfucking function. So this is the legacy two pack of Orion packs and Shockwave. All I know, he got the hound remold. His face is good. I fucked with the design though. The articulation is good. Also a fun fax, Amazon gave me two figures of the pack by mistake because I was going to have the D16 and Senator Ratbat, but it is what it is. Pax Weapons comes with an, a good looking axe and a mid-ass gun. We got Shockwave and oh boy I will say some crazy shit to y'all. I absolutely hate this piece of shit. Like nigga, why the fuck let Hasbro cook this shit? I never even seen this shit before. Dude, did you say the N-word? Yeah. What the hell, man? You can't be saying that shit. It's just wrong. Just wrong, dude. I don't give a fuck. Anyway, this looks like shit. Period. Marvel Legends 2-pack Mr. Venom. So I got this for a very good deal on the Big Bad Toy Store back October of last year. And they were selling it for 46 bucks a pop. He has the same shit as the movie version does. And the only difference is that he comes with chicken wings from Wingstop. Figure Arts Miles Morales. I wanna say, his fucking legs is fragile and I'm not trying to snap his skinny legs. It's better than Aspra version. Good detail on the skin. Marvel Regents can know. Fucking finally, I have him. My stupid complaints. His long ass Aryan hair and his rubber ass sword. His articulation is full. Fucking go. The D S S H I T. Get out of here, nigga. An upgrade kit for Scourge. I hated he's head coming off and shit. Hasbro, you don't kook for shit, man.
Good shit. Studio series War for Cybertroon Megatrans. My green marine ass couldn't get the Mather Father 2010 toys, so I paid Fukin 35 cucks. Let's see it. Articulation is med, very mid is heel. His fucking fusion cannon is so ass. And the only good shit is his mace. Skibidi series Optimus Primal from Rise of Mr. Beast or Rise of the Mid-Ass Movie. Optimum break! Well, and give me an optimum break. The optimum break, though. So, here it is. His articulation is quite nice. The Troon's warp key and his dual swords. The Avengers, 60th anniversary, Marvel Legends Iron Man, Model 01, he's fucking $30, Jesus Christ, why? Hasbro, I hope your company fails, I'm being serious, stop slacking bro. But honestly, he's good, the paint and the sculpt and the articulation. Spider-Man, No Way Home. S. H. Feigertz, The Amazing Spider-Man. Shut up, nigga. Aight, come say what's up then. It sucks that Bandai didn't make his Andrew Garfield face. Why Bandai, why? Anyways has the tallest Spider-Man because he's 5'10", or 6 feet tall. And his articulation is good, the painting and the sculpt is good. I'm so lucky that I didn't get the shitty Marvel Legends one. I swear Hasbro slackin'. Slackin' for real, for real. Esh Figure Arts, Spider-Verse 2. Gwen Stacy, my worst snow bunny in my collection. She got the shits. I deadass kinda dislike her movements cause I might break that shite. But it's a good figure. Mayfex the Boys Black Noir. Fookin. Finally, I have in my collection. Articulation is good. More shit tea. And a head of a ISIS member. Beer and a fuck duel.
Mafex Scarlet Spider. Same shit. Accessories. Marvel Legends, Thorvis Destroyer. Thor has limited head movements due to his cape. He kinda ass though. Holy shit, he's good. Holy shit, he's good. good toy. Holy shit, I'm running out of my social skills. God help me. He has good articulation, but his head is hard. Studio Series 103 Rhinox. I hate his transformation. His articulation is sumit as fuck, dude. Transformers 30th year Waspinator This is better than the Kingdom 1 Has better articulation Yo A gimmick. To able to finish up the 2023 pile of loot. And it's May already. Damn, we got skids and mudflap and fucking Hasbro can't make a studio series. And now a third party company is making them instead. I kinda don't like his articulation, but it is what it is. So, I'm only having them for now. Then Mudflap. Same shit as skids. But both are good.
done with that and now, jumping to this year. I think I'm going to have to see the doctor. My neck feels like it's... DNA upgrade for SS-102 Optimus. Let's go.
Optimus Prime helmet goes hard. So let's freaking go. Hey, let's go. Let's freaking go, bro. Alright, what do we have here? Alright, we got we got ourselves Earth Rise Ratchet and um, so far we're gonna do some we're gonna do some modifications and we're gonna paint it so All right, so we got two packages right now, and um, somebody's getting in trouble. So we're gonna open up the big one. Let's see what we got. Hot diggity dog, we got ourselves um, Studio Series Ratchet from the Bumblebee movie, from the Bumblebee movie. All right, let's just uh, get things out of the way. What else? What else we have? So we got ourselves. Uh, what do we got? Because I'm gonna reorder something from eBay. I'm trying to like open from the back or something. So I don't really don't know. Hot diggity dog. So we got ourselves um, Jazz from uh, Transformers Generations 2, but we're gonna like um, we're gonna paint over it because I'm not really the biggest fan of this color, but it is what it is. So I might go to like Michaels or I don't really know because right now, like at this time of recording, it's like so cold outside. So yeah. Well, damn, I gotta go. So as you can see, we got some more figures going around and this is actually my real voice, not some of that AI shit. And the reason why I'm doing that because of one, I was super lazy. So let's hope this episode, I'm going to be less lazy. So let's hope. So this is what I have currently. We have um, Transformers, Le Transformers um, Legacy Chase from the Rescue Bots from the Rescue Bot series, and um, as of so far, the car looks um, pretty good, pretty solid so far. So, yeah, to it looks pretty good. So we're gonna transform this son of a bitch. Let, I mean, let's hope we could transform this son of a gun. Jesus Christ. So we got ourselves this, uh, we got Chase from the Rescue Bot series, and I just want to say the figure looks quite solid. The other thing I don't really like about him is just his uh, arms because of, you know, of course this and that, but you know, you just could put him up. The design looks pretty good so far, so um, um, this is uh, his articulation. Ah, shit. We're gonna do that later, right? I don't really kind of personally care. It's just a toy. So far, it looks quite good, and I'm gonna give this like around like a. Oh yes, Lord! Yes, we got ourselves 
Amazing Yamaguchi Moon Knight from Marvel. Holy moly, we are so back. So anyways, this figure, I got this figure last year. I mean, I, I pre-ordered this figure last year. And, you know, I waited so long and now he's in my possession. So I ordered the, the Amazing Yamaguchi Agent Spider-Man, Agent Venom. And so far, the articulation is quite good so far. No complaints here and there. Uh, ah, Shaija Maguli. What the heck? What the heck? His, his leg fell off? What the hell? So anyways, um, his articulation is quite okay. I mean, this is actually my second figure. My amazing Yamaguchi figure. Well, technically my fourth because... One, I, you know, I have like two bootlegs and I was going to attempt to make a custom, fi a custom figure. But it wasn't good, so I threw it out, and I actually sold the custom one just to get the bootleg version of the SH Figure Arts Miguel O'Hara. So I guess I believe I'd be getting him by like next month or next week. So the design looks pretty good so far, and his cape is quite well. It's his white. Is his cape is quite good. And this is all of his, um, this is all of his pocaria. This is all of his, uh, freaking pocaria. And as of so far, it's quite good. Quite good. Oh, look, the firefighters are here. What a surprise. Look. Look, they're here. So as you can see, this is my first time, this is like technically my second time having a Star Wars figure. You might be saying, what are you talking about, man? Don't you even like Star Wars because you say it was overrated because they make too many porcaria? Well, kind of. So here's what I got. I got it myself Mayfix Darth Vader from Star Wars or, you know, the guy from Spaceballs. So as you can see, this figure is quite okay. And I want to say this fucking figure Ta muy complicado ese maldito juguete. And I'm gonna tell you why. Cause of one, his legs are too freaking floppy and shit. Cause one, his legs are his legs keep on falling apart. And secondly, his cable was acting like his his cable was acting weird. And I had to like super glue that shit. And three, it's just like his uh, his head keeps on coming off and stuff like that. And I could barely move the figure because like you know I might break the son of a bitch. I might break it. This is this video is not for kids, so fuck off. So this is this is his articulation. I want to say the design looks pretty good, but you know who am I supposed to be talking to? Because the one I'm either like a Star Wars fan. Well, I mean, I might become sooner. I might become it sooner, later, but who knows? Eso todo su porquería. Míralo, míralo, coño, míralo. Oh shit, míralo. He got two lightsabers, lots of head, three lightsabers, three lightsabers, and lots of his hands. So yippee ki yay. So we got ourselves our first female Mayfix figure. You might be saying to yourself, is it Wonder Woman? Is it Harley Quinn? Is it Starlight from the Boys? No, it's Poison Ivy from Batman. I want to say this figure is quite sexy, but but before you people's gonna say, oh that's sexist. How could I be sexist even though I never had sex before? Hmm? Ex explain it to me. Explain that shit to me. So as you can see, the the figure is quite good. You know, the painting is very, very is that that muy bien ya tu sabes. So let's do the the articulation. Holy moly, this shit is so good. Yummy, yummy, <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, let's be serious right now. Yummy, yummy, this figure is quite good. Coño, I wanna make myself some spinach and become stronger than more than ever. I wanna be like Popeye. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I just ripped off her leg. Psych. You could put it back on. Oh my god, we are so fucking back. I'm about to, I'm about to blow. We got money. We got money. We got money. 
We rich. We fucking rich, bro. We fucking rich. People be like, man, why are you cursing on a review? But the reason why I have to curse because of one. So that way kids doesn't watch these video because of their parents and you know of course they're, you know I get the point I get it you know when you become a parent when you become a parent it's it's like kind of hard sometimes because you know you got to distract your kids with something but this is not for kids so I'm sorry for you but I'm sorry for you this is not it Minnesota porcaria we got extra heads extra hands and some things you could eat if that shit has extra protein Shut up, Master Chief. You're going to be reviewed. So as you can see, we got ourselves Nendroid, our, my second Nendroid figure. It is um, the Nendroid Master Chief, aka, I mean, John 117 or whatever, John Halo. And he's from Halo Infinite, the most, the most, I'll be back. I heard like a di I heard like a person screaming, but my I might be schizo, schizophrenic on his mother or truck. -o. He has limited articulation because I mean when you have the you know I have the Doom Slayer and he's he has full blown articulation. The designs is pretty pretty good. Da muy bueno. And I'm going to show you su porqueria. I'm going to show you two right now because I'm doing this for my daughter. I just want to say, oh crap, I just uh, left something. I'm back. So if you subscribe to my channel, you're going to have lots of superpowers. We got his pieces. We got the energy sword. We got the assault. We got his gun, and we could like fucking come in a we could commit a war crime. God damn, that shit's good. Thunder, thunder, thunder cat, thunder, thunder, thunder cat. We got ourselves transforms legacy, Thundertron. Oh my god. This figure looks okay. I don't care if I may trans if I may transform the figure because of one, I'm doing this for the views, for the YouTube views. I don't care if the video receives likes, dislikes. At the end of the day, I want some like YouTube views for for the for this episode. Okay, just give me lots of views, give me all that YouTube money, and I could escape from the YouTube matrix. So that I could escape from the matrix. We're back, baby. We're so freaking back. So as you can see, we're doing this right now. We're doing this right now. Man, I just love transforming the figures, and it just gives me lots of satisfaction. Lots of satisfaction. Oh my goodness. So this is Thundertron and basically he was supposed to he was supposed to be appearing on Transformers Prime season four. But the reason why that got cancelled because of Wanda the it, it, it was too expensive. It was like it was like kinda expensive and you know uh, they decided to cancel the series. And I could understand why and this is made to like a shitty sequel. So he was supposed to be the main villain of the fourth season, and they made a toy of him back in the back in like a decade ago. So this design goes well. I used to have the figure itself, but I sold it. This is his uh, articulation. His articulation. My only gripe of him is just like he has waist swivel, but he doesn't have no. He kind of does, but it's like it's so limited. It's like so limited. I don't know why, but that's that's what he looks like. And as of so far, um, my only complaint is just like you know, like most Voyager figures are like thirty-five dollars, and it's just I don't know. Hasbro's just smoking all like smoking crack or something, but that's just life is. I mean, that's what happens when you. Uh, Vote for. I'm joking. This is a sword. My most anticipated figure of all time. We got ourselves Transformers Legends. I'm. Um, 
this is the most anticipated, you know, I'm going to edit this out. Transformers Legacy, Animated Universe, Optimus Prime, oh my god! That fire truck scared the shit out of me. All right, my artistic friends, so there we have, there we have it right now. We got the animated universe Optimus Prime. This figure deserves to be the figure of the year from now. His face has extra details. His articulation is quite good. His hands has a ball joint. Oh yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Waist swivel. His legs. What the heck? What? Damn, I did not knew that. What the hell was this weapon? I kind of lost it. I just lost it. Oh my god. Look. His axe. You could go some you could go to somebody's house and commit and commit a crime. Open the door. Here's Johnny. Boom, boom, boom. Come over here. Come over here. Don't kill me. Ah, shh, shh, shh. I'm just joking. I want to say this figure is quite good. It's quite good. It's quite good. All right. We got the Green Gooner. There he is. There he is, guys. We got the Marvel Legends Spider Man, the Green Gooner. Oh my goodness. He looks accurate to the movie. What the hell? Oh crap, I killed the son of a bitch. His head is quite good. It's quite good. It's quite good. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna show you what he comes with. He comes with the hood. He comes with this random shit. Okay. And he comes with his um Holy shit, it's Willem Dafoe. Holy crap. There he is, Willem Dafoe. <sighs> I did that. I don't care what you people think about me. We got his pumpkin bombs. If you want to, like, do something, if you want to commit a war crime, to go for it. There's his articulation. I just hate that he's, like, 50 bucks. I just hate how this figure is, like, 50 bucks, and he just comes with his uh, stuff from, like, the movie. But that's just typical Hasbro because they want your they want your dinero. They want to suck you dry like a motherfucker, and that's all I gotta say. That's all I have to say. I want to say the articulation is is uh, quite good, but my only my only gripe with him is just like he could barely stand up, and I might have to like do some modifications with him. And um, he comes with his uh, glider his uh glider so if he wants to goon somebody let's um i'm gonna let him do it like if he's gonna do it like heck he wants us if he wants us if he wants to harass a woman he's gonna fucking do it oh shit he fell down i want to say this figure is quite good it's quite good but my only complaint is just that he's like fifty dollars and he could barely stand up Emo Prime. The most easiest transformation known to mankind. Megatron, I do not appreciate this behavior. Oh, Optimus, how this is impossible. How is your transformation not easy? So as you can see, this is like, he's one of my most anticipated figures of all time in my collection. And you know, this is my, f and I'm kind of, I'm kind of satisfied what I have with him because I was trying to get him somewhere. And holy moly, he is sold out. He was actually sold out and I was like so upset. So after Big Bad Toy Store put him into the pre-order, I was so happy. I nearly shit myself because I was so excited. I was super excited. I know, right? Because a lot of consuming products. I love me some Goy Slop, motherfucker. I love me some of that Goy Slop, okay? Okay. 
so yeah that's like about it i mean like he's like a hundred or something dollars and you know sometimes i really don't know why but at least the quality is so good oh my goodness so good hold on i'll be back i have to do number one ah ha 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 took me three hours we got ourselves the evil version of Optimus Pride. His head has the great designs, oh my god. He's like the most articulated figure of all time. No wubba wubba wubba. He has fully articulated hands. Oh my god, you see that shit? I wanna bet you that Hasbro ain't gonna make that shit. Cause Hasbro knows that they suck as a fucking company. They couldn't make fucking shit. So anyways. Oh crap. The articulation is so good, so underrated as hell. Oh my god. I'm like flabbergasted. Wow. He's like the Stretch Armstrong look. Wow. Wow! Wow, I just didn't believe it. I just cannot believe it in my eyes. Wow, I just like. I was about to say something, man, but holy moly, wow, I'm like quite excited for this, uh, what else, let's see what we have as right now, I like myself well done, this is, this is his axe, this right here is his axe, bitch, would be like, I like my shit well done, bitch, you never will be done, as you can see, we got both of his weapons, okay, this is weapon number two, and this is his, uh... This is his weapon number three. Pew, 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 pew. And this is his extra stuff. There's his face. There's his face. And there's his other one. Wow, I just cannot believe it. I know there's another one, but I don't know where it is because I'm too fucking lazy to find it. This is the bomb, baby. This is the bomb. Escape the matrix. Escape it. Show you what we have after today. It's gonna make you shit yourself before you piss yourself. Dr. Octopussy? Look. Yeah, real magic stuff around here. Oh my god, what the hell? I didn't know we have that shit. His head has pure, has good designs, has cute detail, very good detail. This figure's quite good so far. I mean, my link grab, he's like 40 bucks. I mean, he doesn't look like he's 40 bucks. He look like he's like 30 bucks. What the hell has bro? What the fuck? We got extra stuff and we also got this. I don't know what's the other one. I'm pretty damn sure it's in my room, so I'm gonna go look for it right now. So have a good night, y'all. We got ourselves DLX Megatron from Rose in the Fallen. And I wanna say he's one of the most expensive figures in my collection. I wanna say the third expensive figure in my collection. Let's just say that the the last night Optimus Prime is gonna be my second. So, anyways, um, I want to say this figure is freaking complicated. He is the most complicated figure of all time because of one. Once I opened him up in Christmas, he came broken, and I was gonna throw him out, and then boom, I just fixed him again, and I don't know what the hell is going on with that company. I really don't know, but it is what it is. He has like the most most movie accurate details i don't know about the head but i actually got it from the dino dino's model shop and uh, this right here is most complicated because one of his pieces it fell down it fell flipping down i could really move his fingers but that's okay so this is his articulation and uh, as of so far 
it's quite good it's quite good the articulation is quite good so far let me just not try to like break the figure his like articulation move his head to his head came broken I actually fixed the head I used some of that the broken yellow park Optimus primal and I fixed him so hip to parade for me so yeah and he, and he only comes with his um his uh cannon from the second movie so pretty good am I right I will give this like a 6 out of 10 because like one he came broken and two he was like the most complicated figure of all time. I mean like I don't know. I might I don't know if I'm a, if I want to get another DLX anymore because it just feels like it just feels like when I get like a DLX figure for me for my copy it comes broken and that it's up to me to get my fucking ass to, to fix the figure. All right? And these are the photos I took when I got my package and it looked broken. I was about to throw it out and get a refund, so I decided to fix it myself. That's it. Took me three hours. Right, last but not least, we got ourselves Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Leader Class Optimus Prime. And actually, this toy is something special for me. But first, I had to remove the, his swords because of one, the swords was getting on the way. And I didn't know what to do with it. So let's transform him. So fun fact, this is actually my second figure because the one I got, my first one, um, I got a refund because the guy he did not he didn't ship it. So I got a refund from this cocksucker because he could he didn't do shit. So I wanted Mikari and the guy shipped it. I mean I'm talking about the other one and um, there he is and I got this around like um, four days after my birthday. So I was so lucky, very lucky. Optimus Prime, holy moly. He is one of the most detailed Optimus Prime of all time. Oh my God, we are so back. I had this figure when I was eight years old. I had to donate it because of uh, obvious reasons, because I have so many stuff and I had to like, I was forced to be donating stuff. So he, this is a, take his articulation, his articulation sucks that he doesn't have the thing but at least it doesn't have the noise anymore so that's like hip -hop, that's like another w in the shot yeah tu sabe i love this figure a lot but my only complaint is just his fucking shorts so that's like all i gotta say and i just can't believe i have this figure in my hands as of right now this is considered as like a eight Seven, like a, I'm gonna give this figure like a, like a seven, eight, or nine out of ten because I just absolutely love this figure so much. So thank you for seeing this video. And to the guy, the CEO of YouTube currently, to the CEO of YouTube, give me all that YouTube money because I want to get paid and I will and I want to live in a private island. I want to live in a fucking penthouse for real, for real.